Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. Let's call this a public service announcement. First, the SEC. You guys are not doing your job, so thankfully, there's guys like me, and I'll explain. So, social media pump and dump schemes. If you guys are not familiar with this, it says anonymous Twitter users could easily be paid as stock pumpers. Stock pumpers are paid to cultivate social media following, specifically a pump and dump, or a pump up certain stocks, in addition to social media pump and dump schemes, investors should also be wary of pump and dump schemes that are perpetuated through investment newsletters and online advertisements. What does all of that mean? Well, I want to tell you guys something. Actually, I want to show you something, and then I'll let you decide. If you guys don't know, a couple of weeks ago, there was a, a stock called Tupperware. It started getting pushed out of nowhere to you. And I was paying attention. I'm like, there's, there's just no way. It's a pump and dump. Like, I know it right when I hear it. And then you want to see it in real time. So we're going to go look at that damn stock for a minute. But before we do, I want to show you a chart. So we'll go here and we'll go here and we'll go here. Right there. So right here, this is Mullen Automotive, guys. If you guys are not familiar with Mullen Automotive, I called this a pump and dump. And unfortunately, there's a lot of nefarious characters involved. Uh, and we'll go over that in another video that I just found out new stuff. But... This is a one hour chart. We know that the proxy vote came out yesterday. All proposals were passed with the exception of proposal number four, the move to Maryland. No, it's Maryland. Learn that, you Canadians. But beyond that, this is the pump and dump. This is the daily chart. As you guys can see, it's absolutely terrible. If you put money in here, you lost 99% of all money put in. It's just, this is terrible. But let's go ahead and look at the one hour chart on Tupperware. And this is why everyone's excited, guys. It went from 60 cents all the way to $7. Now, I know what you're saying. I missed out, Marantz. I could have made money. You could have, but you're not a professional. You're not a day trader. And chances are, you wouldn't know how to swing your emotions on this stock. Now, are you stuck in this stock? More than likely, you're getting there. Because if you guys, the smart ones out there, look, this is your daily chart. Does it look familiar? Yeah, it just keeps coming on down. And why? Because these are pump and dumps. And if you don't believe it, guys, that's for the lack of a better term, I would say. Or am I? No. I'm, I'm convinced that's what it is because let's go look at exactly what's happening with these stocks and why they pump and dump the way they do. And then, of course, who's pumping and dumping them? And right now, this is a guy by the name of Cal. Financial Journey is his original channel. This is his other channel, trading, Trending Stocks with two S's. And what are, what are the things that he's pumping out to you? Well, of course, SoFi. Galactic, and if you don't know about Virgin Galactic, go ahead and look at all, these are all SPACs that were pushed out by other Canadian YouTubers, like Uncle Bruce. But now you have Tupperware there. He's made two videos, how high can it go? Shorts have not covered. Does this all sound familiar? This is a stock pumper, guys. Social media influencer, gangs of following, cultivates them, and then pushes out his missiles. And whether he's using his other channel, Financial Journey, or this one, Trending Stocks, all he's doing is pumping out misinformation, time and time again. And you know what's the common thread here? This is Tupperware. This is gonna be their board of directors. We'll go down this list, and you see she's at Mark. if you guys don't know, if you guys ever read Connecting the Dots, if you ever guys see it, okay? It's a series that I've put together. It's like one through 33, I or 32. I'm gonna show you why the board of directors matters at a company like Tupperware and why you're getting punked. Miguel Fernandez, guess where he worked, guys? Avon Products. If you guys don't know the story of Avon Products, they're in the same building as Apollo, Silver Lake, and Oak Hill, Oak Tree. They're with all the other um, distressed credit hedge funds. Okay, guys, this is private equity in the same building, the Solo building. He was there forever. And, of course, he worked hand in hand. As you go down this list, this is Herbalife. Herbalife, if you don't know what that was, that was a big struggle against shorts. But Herbalife is now over here at Tupperware. The next guy is Eastman Kodak. Of course, Kodak went bankrupt. And who facilitated and did all the dip financing with those private equity again. You're gonna look right here. This young lady I don't care for because she's a Walt Disney company and you know I don't promote that or recommend that. Um, the next thing is going to be Boston Consulting Group, Senior Advisor of Boston Consulting Group. As you can see, private equity has connections with all of this. And then you have Stone, uh, Stone Canyon Industries Holding Inc. A lot of them are gonna be private equity. And unfortunately, that's just the way it goes down. She's the US uh, Federal Trades Commission uh, commissioner, sure, you can imagine how these guys are navigating. Pepsi execs, if you guys don't know, former Pepsi execs are also in charge at Kohl's, and I'll let you know what private equity runs that company. General Mills, and now he's here. And some of these guys might be good guys. Some of these guys might want the best thing for your investment. The unfortunate part is they're infiltrated just as well. 
I know exactly what I'm looking at because I've been connecting the dots for a long time. But the main dot to connect is these stock pumpers like Cal, like anyone else out there that pushes out misinformation and they're okay with it because guess what? They just want you to make a couple of bucks. They think that they're pushing it out for you. But guess what? If for every dollar that you think you're making, those other guys are making billions. And remember that. And then when it all unwinds, what do they, does everybody do? They just put their hands up. Oh, I don't know. Do you know who PP Seeds is? He's pumped out 13 failed stocks over the last two and a half years, except he deletes his post on Reddit. This guy, Cal, here just makes up new channels to push out more information as well. Been doing it for, I don't know, two years now, Cal. Misinformation, pushing out lies. This could go. This is going to run. This is what it is. You're the hottest thing to never come. Guys, if you're investing money this way and on these pump and dumps, just know you might get caught with your pants down. Yes, that's exactly what happened with Mullen Automotive. Good luck, guys. Stay away. I try to help out people, but you can't help the greedy. Peace.